channel guys crypto lightsaber back again with another video and today i want to talk about core you guys know about cvault.finance already okay um but there is actually a fork of that now and that is encore all right guys we have been talking about this in my group i've neglected to mention it on the channel because i've been waiting to see how it would act and perform okay but um yeah at the moment it is looking quite okay i'm going to give you some reasons why this might be one that you might want to look at if you're interested in core now core to me is actually the king of this um you know new yield farming structure okay it's a non-inflationary token there are videos that i've done about this already so you can go back and have a look at those okay i'll probably put a card somewhere up here for you so you can see that go and have a look at c vault finance okay or dot finance and you'll be able to know why i think that this is a great project why i think there's definitely a unique selling point for this and there would be i've said before there will be a lot of cop copycats all right now if you think about the counterfeit game okay there's much more fake louis vuitton handbags sold than there are real ones because people are always looking to pick something up for a little bit cheaper okay but it still increases the value of the actual louis vuitton handbag because if you know you've got the genuine item people are willing to pay a lot more for it all right and um it's more scarce all right <laughs> um probably less uh, uh less of uh, less made of what of uh what's the word less there's less per item made than there is in the counterfeit one so they like if let's say for example they release a product a product and they make a hundred of them only right a limited edition Louis, Louis Vuitton for example and you get like the fake ones I mean they will make just unlimited ones you know but there's always ways you can tell the difference now with something like this if you think about Bitcoin and Bitcoin cash all right Bitcoin Cash was just a fork of Bitcoin, but it performs well nevertheless. It actually does perform really well. I know a lot of people don't like Bitcoin Cash because it was a fork. Uh, they don't like the founder of it, Craig Wright, and all it, and, and you know, for, for their own reasons or whatever. I'm not a great fan of Bitcoin Cash, but a lot of times it does pump. If Bitcoin goes up 10%, Bitcoin Cash might go up 25, 30%, okay? But um, yeah, this is in court, and uh, so it's not C Vault dot finance this one is called evolt dot finance okay right over here evolt dot finance and i've actually got um some token state in this all right now if we look at the encore vault twitter page okay now they've actually been um uh, i've just put out a new roadmap okay which you can go and look at all right and um before they didn't have the apy displayed on the website so i was staking i didn't know how much i was actually getting all right but it's now at 256 percent but that's down from about around 300 400 percent um, just the other day okay as you can see i've only got 12 uni v2 token states and i'll discuss that in a minute but um yeah i mean right now over the space of a couple of days i'm at 0.2 in core tokens and i can claim those at any time but every time you claim it you do have to pay the gas fee all right so it's probably not best to just claim it claim it claim it all right probably every time i get to one in core i might claim it and then you know wait for it to turn into one again and then claim it and then i might just sell them straight away rather than holding them that's probably a better way to do it because at the end of the day the prices the prices are going to fluctuate uh, the percentage you make is going to be, you know, based on how many people are actually staking in the pool. Um, there's not, there, there is a way that you can take your liquidity out, but you know, there's a longer term perspective on this, and you can make great dividends just by leaving it in. All right, you can make a great yearly return on that. Obviously, look, two hundred and fifty-six percent at the moment. Okay, but that does change. If the price goes up, obviously you two hundred fifty-six percent is going to be a higher amount in uh, in cash or token value, uh, and vice versa. If it goes down, it's going to be less. All right, guys. But I did a calculation, and it looks like I could make quite a bit of money um, over a year's time. Okay, and within the next month and a half to three months, I could actually get the whole value of my stake back potentially. All right, and then after that, I can just withdraw that, and then the rest of it will just be infinite mining. I'll be able to just like earn the dividends off that forevermore, as long as I leave my Uni V tokens 
state in the pool and the only way to get them out after that is to do it through balance so you cannot actually withdraw so if you add liquidity on uniswap you can't withdraw it from uniswap at the moment okay or i don't know if you ever can all right the only way you can withdraw it after that is you can go over you can sell your uni v2 tokens on balancer okay and you can sell that back into eth all right guys but the actual tokens that you bought the end core tokens you won't be able to get those out all right those are locked in liquidity forever um but when you do stake it it does get added to the liquidity pool on uniswap okay um i'm not sure if you're following me i mean it took me a little bit of a of a while to wrap my head around this thing um because i'm not an expert on farming okay i like to listen to someone like satoshi stacker so shout out satoshi stacker he's the one when it comes to farming tokens he does a lot of experiments he puts his own money on the line you know i give credit to him for that there's there's ones where he's lost money ones where he's, he's made money okay but you know that's definitely a good one to watch go and watch satoshi stacker and see what he's saying about the farming tokens he hasn't I don't, or, or you know to my knowledge i haven't seen him talk about core or encore at the moment okay but it would be good if he did um so if you are listening to doji stacker let us know your thoughts on uh core and encore all right but i'm um, going to encore so the token price at the moment i'm not sure actually if i just go into uh into my chart let's have a look it's 614 dollars at the moment okay now i see this go to almost 2000 before well it went to 1920 at its uh, uh at its inception when it pumped okay and it's come down and it's retraced all the way down here so for me it's a better buy than what it would have been over there now i definitely didn't buy the top you know i bought the lows okay um but in the group we did buy this at the beginning and we were taking some profits on this also okay now if we look we can say that it did kind of break that resistance now i actually thought that this was a double bottom yesterday and i put a position on it okay i left it i went out about my day did my thing and by the time i came back i had missed all of this pump by the time i got back i noticed it had come all the way back down here and i thought you know what this is going to dump a little bit more let me sell out okay i was hoping that maybe it could just do another u-shape and come back to the upside okay but i missed about 20 percent move there okay which i was actually in but i didn't realize those profits guys that does happen okay you can get in the trade it goes up and you completely miss it i forgot about the trade you know i was busy I was out near enough the whole day and to my shame I forgot about this trade by the time I got home I decided to look at it and um, yeah I lost a very small amount of money because I did get in down um, I did get in down here somewhere okay so I missed that move and then it came down okay and so I lost a very small fragment of money very small okay but um, yeah it is a bit of a pain all right now i do own some core tokens okay I, I i actually own two core tokens so i'm hoping that we can get a nice pump on that um core has come out it did break out of this uh, uh falling wedge okay uh, that's the green line by the way it looks a bit dodgy all my lines over here in fact let's just get rid of that so you guys can see what i'm talking about so it broke out of the green line okay and uh, it rolled over and now it's bouncing off the support so hopefully we can get a nice spike to the upside that would be beautiful it could just roll on roll on further to the downside i'd like to see it hold this level okay but it is kind of fighting against it at the moment and that is literally i mean yeah if we don't get a move up this is going to come down uh, quite a bit further in my opinion uh, but I am willing to hold this um, at the moment at the end of the day I believe in the long-term potential of this project okay and uh, which is why I decided to you know stake it was around about one core worth okay I, I switched one core out into into end core okay at these low prices at the end of the day and I'm staking it so I'm earning dividends on that now if this decides to rally you know I'm gonna make some good money on that aren't I so you guys will have to let me know what you think about this one um i'm not sure whether i did it justice I was, i've spoken about it um uh, enough for you but it is the same concept of c vault finance okay or c vault dot finance which is core all right guys go and watch the video that i made about core to find out how it all works 
how it all runs okay it's non-inflationary okay and this is just a fork of it it does exactly the same thing all right but a lot of people might not be interested in it because it's a copycat so um yeah like comment down below get over onto twitter and follow me at crypto lightsaber also and i'll see you guys in the next video if you would like to support the channel there's actually a way you can do that now while getting something out of it for yourself we have a new clothing brand called parabolic this is a brand dedicated to the crypto space I use the name Parabolic because that's the kind of movement we like to see in those charts. Now there's a range of products you can choose from, from hoodies, vests, socks, even face masks during this pandemic time and we're using the lightsaber to represent the YouTube channel. Okay, there'll be a link in the description so you can go and check that out. Got a range of different colours, range of different products, alright? And what I'll actually be doing is for the first 100 people that do actually buy something, if you send me a message, what I'll do is I'll send you a free invite. For the new telegram group which will be a paid telegram group okay after that okay so the first 100 people you will get a invite sent to you for free all right even if you buy something as small as a mug you will get that just to show my appreciation for your support as well okay guys so you've got a chance to be the exclusive members of the new group you've also got a chance to get your hands on some exclusive merchandise so link in the description get on over to the website and make your purchase now remember trend is your friend.